Hey everybody, welcome back. We're fighting Professor Sycamore. So, what are the chances he just mega evolves one of these? Or all of them? I don't know. He can only evolve, mega evolve one Pokemon per battle, so... Oh, it, that's it a rule? At all, it might be Charizard, because that's uh, the one of the three Kanto starters who can mega evolve into something different depending on the game you're playing. Oh, yeah. Um, what the hell is Petal Blizzard, by the way? I don't know that move. It's a physical grass move. It hits everybody on the field, I think. Okay. Nice. All right, come on, come on. What's he got next? Blastoise. Okay. Roserade should one-shot that. And then Charizard. If he does Mega Evolve that into the Charizard X thing, what type is it? Fire Dragon. Fire Dragon, got it. Oh yeah, X is the good one. Why, what's, well, what's the Y one? It, it's just Fire Flying, but it gets access to Drought as an ability. So yeah, it can I'm... power up all uh, fire moves and can use Solar Beam immediately. And it mm -hmm. has a lot of special attack. I'm just thinking about like visually. Yeah, visually, uh, X is a lot cooler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y just gets a lot more spikes. Street Sharks. Yeah, Earthquake will actually work on it. Yeah. Assuming he does Mega Evolve, but he might not actually have a Mega Stone, so... Yeah, I'm going to use Crunch on the first turn just for safety. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because they, they've made a whole deal this whole game about how uh, people only have, like... Th there are certain amounts of uh, Mega Rings and Mega Stones to go around. Mm -hmm. And you're one of the quote-unquote blessed few. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Yeah, not really sure. Wasn't it given to us? Yeah. That's a fairly rare resource to just give to a child. I think there are two, uh, one. There's one more person I know for sure will, who will Mega Evolve before post-game. Um, and then in post-game, Serena gets it. <gasps> you truly love and trust your Pokemon. Well, that depends on which Pokemon you're talking about. We throw a lot of them <laughs> in the box because they suck. Yeah. Man, I can't get enough of Fur you and the Rock <laughs> Dragon, Lapras. That's Tyrantrum. Crocodile. You mean Street Sharks. Uh, Roserade and Firebird. Oh, I didn't know I could go up here. Yeah, that's fun. Can I use waterfall on these? Uh, no. Well, they're not big. Enough. That would be a very small waterfall. That waterfall, would. though. Hmm. I don't believe I actually have waterfall yet. You do not. Damn. Um, sorry. My grass just isn't good enough. I guess it's the darker grass that you can't walk on. You can't go on the really dark grass. Yeah, that'd just be rude. All right, your and next race route is mostly rude. Your next route has a lot of Pokemon in it. Ooh. Uh, uh, left or right? If you if you keep going this way, this is a completely optional path that just results in you getting a TM. Oh, what's TM? Much, uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Brandon would have access to that. Yeah, okay. uh, it is TM 36 Sludge Bomb. That, that could be good for a road raid. Well, do we want it more than Venishock? Probably? I mean, yeah, because uh, when are you going to have opportunities to uh, poison something and then, you know, use Venishock on it? Okay. How... Battles don't last very long in, in the main game. Yeah. I wonder how far away this TM actually is. It's not terribly far. You're just going to have to sift through a few uh, wild Pokemon potentially. Okay. That's not that bad. And then Sligoo. I can fly my way back up. Well, no, it's going to loop around back to the uh, the very start of the route, and you just got to take a new oh. uh, path through it to get to the actual, you know, end of it. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Do I have repels? I probably do. Quagsire. I love Quagsire. There are a decent number of Pokemon in this, in this swamp area. They're pretty much all the same as the grass area. Uh, okay. 
Max Repel. But there are two Pokemon that you can only see in this route through Horde encounters. Oh, God damn it! Which you probably won't end up getting anyway. Which yeah. is Gligar and Arbok. I like both of those. Yeah, they're both okay. This is pure water or water, water fairy? It's just water. Oh. But, okay. It just no, really looks like fairy type. To me, fairy is one of those types that I can never pick out in a Pokemon. Yeah. I never know. Just, you know, cutesy pink shit, right? But that one wasn't, was so I don't know. It was not fairy, as is Love Disc, who is just pure water. Uh, am I... Do I want to go up this bridge? Yeah, this is where the TM is. Okay. Hey! Sweet. There's also a Pokemon that you can catch by fishing. But and we'll leave it at that. None <laughs> of them are great. Why Polywag, can Polywirl. Street Sharks learn Sludge Bomb? Poison Mist, I guess. I guess. All right, how much of an upgrade is this? this is 90? 90, okay. Yeah, why not? No, that's Roserade. Oh. Mm. Are you sure that's not the flower one? Let's keep moving! <laughs> the Roserade Yay! is a flower. What? Yeah, that's that's the, sure flower the flower one. one? It's, it's a joke about how... Uh, about how I couldn't remember the names of my Pokemon before. Oh, that, okay. Oh. Now I get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's a great joke. That's how you know it's a great yeah. joke. Is that it didn't land. MVP. It's because I laughed. It, yeah, it didn't land. That's exactly <laughs> it. Mm, do you know no. what's about to happen? No. Of course. No, <laughs> oh. This is irresponsible. We're on a bridge. If you keep spinning like that, you might vomit. Okay, now that's fairy, right? Nope. No. Just normal. I that's thought they would have changed it to fairy. It's just one nope. of those Pokemon that... But what about Chansey? Pure normal. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. All right, all right. You have Ice Beam on Lapras. Surely way. Clefairy must be fairy, right? Yes, it is pure okay. fairy now. Okay. Good. Just making sure that they're not being that awful. What about Granbull? Uh, pure fairy. Okay, now that's fairy. Granbull is fairy. All right. I mean, it is literally the fairy, like, species of Pokemon. Is it? Mm-hmm. But it's like a dog. It's I think Snubble was yeah. literally just the fairy Pokemon. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to be like a bulldog. They are both bulldogs. Uh. Yeah, but Snubble they're... classification is the fairy Pokemon. Wow. Just kind of looks like a balding man. The Japanese and their weird thoughts about fairies. <laughs> <laughs> Trap them in bottles and you'll revive when you die. All they look these like kooky dogs. Thing, <laughs> kooky things they believe. <laughs> so this is grass fighting. Grass fighting? I will acrobatics and completely annihilate him. And this is its signature move, which is just protect, but it also does damage to anyone doing a physical oh. attack. Well, that's obnoxious. And now he will die. There we go. Go, the worst starter. Uh, he looked okay, I guess. Yeah, I like Chestnut. Chestnut. Looks like a Digimon's evolution. <laughs> In fairness, the alternatives are the wizard, which is fantastic, and the ninja, yeah. which is fantastic. So, yeah, yeah I guess it is the worst. Probably the worst. Yeah. But yeah, overall it... of all the starters, no, I'd no, say I can't, still, like, middle I can't say overall of all the starters. I just meant of this yeah. game. Yeah, this there's game a lot of... Just because there are two that are better. There's yeah. a lot of bad. In, uh... The worst of these three, still good, though. No, I don't want to... Hmm. Too late. No. Now fight me! 
What if I don't want to? Go, go Talonflame! <laughs> they never ask me for my opinion, do they? Go, Firebird. You can't speak up. They decide for you. See, that's a problem. So, if they could beat you now, why wouldn't they have just defeated Lysander themselves? <laughs> mm, they didn't feel like it. They're they secretly Lysander like Grunts. Grunts. Yeah, we didn't have oh. a Mega Evolution Pokemon either. I swear to God if he missed this again. No, but okay. we have the Mega Ring. Yeah, we just don't use it. <laughs> At all. <laughs> like ever. Yeah. So we have the thing just to flaunt in other people's faces like, Haha, look what I got. Roserade. Hang on, I know that one. He has two of our Pokemon? Yeah. I think his last one's going to be Crawdon. So, hmm. two of three, 66%. Sorry, 66.6%. Crodon's one of those Pokemon that I like, but I've never used because I've never liked it enough to justify being on the team, you know? I think he's yeah. got a lot of bulk, but other than that, he's not very, like, useful. Like, if it's Gen 3 and I'm looking for a Pokemon to have Surf, I'm probably going to have, like, Whalmer. Because I think Whaler yeah. is really cool. It's also common. Yeah. I didn't even know it had little leg things down there. That's creepy looking. <laughs> there we go. And it's fucking dead. Okay. Now is the nerd one gonna fight me? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. This is the last time I fight them? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. I hate getting held up for ages in the same spot for a bunch of battles back to back. Just feels like it halts progression, you know? Yes. Like, what it's... Is... One of my main compa uh, complaints about Gen 5 was that uh, it felt like every route you went to, there was a new rival fight with one of the three rivals, and it's just... I want, I feel there's less feeling of exploration when you get interrupted that much. And likewise, I also don't like the solution of let's just have all the rival battles in a row, like at the same time. I don't really like that either. I just think there should be less rival battles and have them mean a bit more, you know? Do it in a battle royale setting. <sighs> have everyone gang up on each other. Yeah. Th that would be pretty funny. Um, ice. Was that Raichu a little bit more yellow than it should be? I feel like Raichu was always like an orangey color. I can't judge. I'm currently wearing amber tinted glasses. Everything mm. looks yellow. Oh no. Please do not waste my time. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, I thought so. I like Aerodactyl a lot. I just never use it. Same here. Fairy? Uh, Switch fairy? Poison or steel? Okay. I think you only have poison, though. I think you're right. Why is steel good against fairy? Because iron is effective against fairy. Because weapons. Tinkerbell got poisoned. I forgot I about know. that. I don't remember what their reasoning for uh, for fairies being weak to uh, steel is, though. Yeah, because it's oh. in it's in like actual stories that they're weak to um, they're weak Metals. to iron. Like iron, like burns them and stuff. I did not know that. Did you remember in uh, the our explanation for why it's good against dragons that uh, Prince Philip in the fairy tale of <laughs> Sleeping Beauty slay a dragon? Do, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. For anyone who doesn't know what we're referencing, Pokemon Platinum A Journey was fantastic. To summarize that explanation, though, uh, one of us found a uh, uh, someone's list of why type effectiveness is what it is, and they had stuff like, uh, flying types are weak to rock because of the phrase, kill two birds with one stone. Which is hilarious. <laughs> Well, we know we can't really trust those kinds of lists. They also come out with cute Pokemon about? They're being on the internet. <laughs> That's how you know that they're valid. 
That's true. Bye now. Don't try to have a touching moment with me. Big League MDB, I... You slowly walk gulp. over to her. I love you. Around, and you push her off the bridge. <laughs> she can fit through those ropes. Where did she get that? She probably found it on the ground. Well, it's a good thing we got that or else it'd be all over now. We were going this way, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here, yeah, here, Link. The the route. Take this ocarina and always remember me. I mean, waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Take this ocarina and throw it away as, <laughs> as soon as you can. <laughs> hey, look, there's a, there's a second vendor today, so there's some new cool items you can get. Oh, I thought that was only after badges. Uh, the left guy is your default vendor, but the guy on the right sells different things oh. other than like potions and um, and balls and stuff. Mm. So you have the unique Pokeballs here. Mm. So you oh. ever want to stock up on quick balls, you get or dust a, balls, or you get a lot of balls. balls. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have three hundred thousand dollars. You good? Uh, there we go. And this is before they gave you premier balls for purchase of any Pokeball. Lame. Just stock up <laughs> Circular <Mercury> Road. <laughs> Hold on, that that guys, that's that's excessive. Nah. For Victory Road? No, yeah. not even a little bit. Okay, that's all that's a lot better. Yeah. Gotta can't be willy nilly with the money, you know? Yeah, willy nilly, impotence. That is a great line. I actually remember this, Jim. Of all I, the things to remember, I thought to write, you were like, going to say. I thought you were going to say you remember that. I remember you remember that joke. That was right <laughs> near the end of uh, <laughs> end ish. It was in that underwater shitty dungeon we did in Burning Crusade for Lorecraft. One day, one day we got to do WoW Classic and and pick that up again because that was fun. So you're, Sorry, you want to go to the uh, southwest of town right now? Okay. Like out of town or? Yeah, like right here. Oh my god. Oop. What route? Is this Route 21? This no, is Winding court. Woods. Lame. Route 20. Winding Woods sounds like it'd be in um, Mario. So this is kind of a maze. I'm going to go Route 21. You want to go south from here? What was the Super Mario RPG Woods called? Um, <gasps> I think it's just called the Forest Maze. Is Jigglypuff. It? I kind of thought it would have a better name. <laughs> we have 107. <laughs> 106. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> if it broke out on that, then it, uh, what, what's funny about that is that you caught Xerneas in a single quick ball, but Jigglypuff broke out, so it was harder to catch than Xerneas. I'm sure we've failed a quick ball before, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. One of the edgy Pokemon is in here. Where's the... It's to, to your right. There you go. No, I, I need a dash. Uh, is there no special shift. characters? Hit shift. It's... Ooh, you can just do the minus. Puff jig. There you go. All right, who are we replacing on our team with Puff Jig? <laughs> Talonflame. Uh, just get rid of Talonflame. We don't need him. Just, just. Do you just use a repel? Yeah. <laughs> Did you but there's drop Pokemon things? in here. <laughs> Is that the sound of you throwing Bulbapedia across the room? <laughs> <laughs> giving no. us Let's Play just. Not wanting to see any of the wild Pokemon in this room. In this room. <laughs> I, had a comb, I had a comb in my hand. Uh, what's the meadow plate? Uh, increases grass moves. It's uh, grass move power. It's Miracle Seed. Oh, is it just the same? Yep. Okay. But we could have run into Pokemon like uh, Gotharita. Woo. Am I going to use it though? Amoongus. Amoongus? Yeah, Fungus's evolution from Gen 5. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, we were just talking about this one. Yeah, or, the fairy Pokemon. Or we could have run into Trevenant. Now, that's a cool one. Arc of the Trevenant. Yeah. Or 
the super edgy Pokemon Zoroark. Z oh yeah, Zoroark. That's the one that has the disguise ability, right? Yeah, illusion. That motherfucker gave me so many problems in my... It was a black and white run. I want to say it was Bidoof. That motherfucker gave me so many issues pretending to be Kling Klang sometimes, but not always. And like, uh, there was so much stuff I just left out of the video on that one because it was going too long. There's sweet Horden. There's sweet Horde encounters in here. Uh, sometimes when you run into groups of Trevenant, there will be a pseudo Wudo hidden among them. That's pretty great because Trevenant is actually like a, a moving tree. So pseudo Wudo yeah. acting like a tree in the Horde. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. in. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the advanced tips. What an advanced tip. That's my other name. Who put that sign there? Oh, God damn it. Hope that's the, not uh, the mandatory way. No, it isn't. This is. Keep going down. Oh, wow. It was real mean of them to make it look just the same as another area. And then go down again and you're good. Oh, no. Repel were off. Uh, well, this looks like a unique model. Yeah, he's a gym leader. Oh. Pokemon Village. This place is a secret. That's why we're on the map. It's a secret to everyone. This music sounds very slightly... Uh, Final Fantasy VI? There's a song in it that makes me think of this, but I don't remember which one. I'm getting Paper Mario 64 vibes from this. Okay, I do I too, just, the, the flower world near the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just getting a weird JRPG feeling from it. Mm -hmm. Weirdly overly jovial. Yeah. But somewhat not fitting to the situation. You want to challenge me? Yeah. Mm, too bad. Mm, bye now. You do not get anything for spending time with the Pokemon here, I don't believe. Oh. Is there any reason to do anything here right now? At the moment, no, but in post-game, that cave opens up and you can fight Mewtwo. Oh! Mewtwo's in this! I did not know. Yeah, Mewtwo. this is not the village. This is not very secret. M okay, uh... Snowbell. Yeah, here. But I want Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember... I can't remember if you have to do something... Like, what exactly you have to do to unlock Mewtwo... Uh, I think you have to go find the three legendary birds first, catch them, Aww. and then Mewtwo gets unlocked. It's like when you have like a, a younger cousin <laughs> playing Pokemon, they run up to you all excited. I got Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we found out that there's no wrong way to say the Pokemon's <laughs> name. <laughs> so, Mewtwo is canon. Yes, Mutu's canon. That's what that means. If there's no wrong way, that means everything's canon. God, he looks so undignified from the front, doesn't he? Especially from this far away. <laughs> yeah, if he just wears the coat and like zips it up, it looks good. If he's if he's just hanging off his back and we're seeing it from the side, it looks good. You see him from the front and it's just like some guy's uncle in like a stained white tank top <laughs> wearing his sweatpants. Does he have shoes on? I can't even tell from here. I think he does, yeah. They might be sandals for all we know. He was waddling out onto the front porch to check the mail. <laughs> didn't didn't even fully put his coat on. He just uh, wrapped it around his neck. He didn't even put his arms through the sleeves or anything. Well, I see what looks to be a super monkey ball puzzle up ahead. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking Mario Galaxy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see that too. On the next episode, everybody, Super Monkey... Why aren't we playing Super Monkey Ball 2? Because we need to be playing Mario Party. Okay, just so everybody... Just so everybody knows, we did a playlist like a couple years ago, a year and a half maybe, on the channel of just the three of us playing a bunch of GameCube games. I think it's literally a playlist called like GameCube Games. Mm -hmm. Check Online that out. Online multiplayer GameCube Games, I think it was. Yes, there, we had so much fun with that stuff. Oh, the Super Monkey Ball mini games, the billiards, and crazy bowling and stuff, and Mario, Mario Party, Kart, and Mario, Mario Kart, Kart uh, F Zero GX. Mm -hmm. We did. Smash Melee. Oh, we did yep. Smash Melee. I think that was the first one we did. We yep. did. Uh, what uh, was Nightfire? 
Nightfire. That was the one I was trying to remember. 007 Nightfire. That was a fun one. All right. Next episode, everybody. <laughs> Not Mario Party. Nightfire. Until next time. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye.